Super Scroll goes AWOL against his own people. Super Scroll comes back and tells the Baroness that they must heed his warning, but she says it'll only be noted. He tries to warn her about the Annihilation Wave and how dangerous and how powerful they are, but she's not gonna take the risk. After all, she sacrificed him. All he wants to do is protect what's left of the Scroll Empire. But she starts to hit him with a couple of low blows and tells him, The men don't respect you anymore. You've lost many times. To the heroes of Earth, you're a joke now. As he sits there and takes it. But he couldn't hold it anymore. And he attacks the Baroness. That was considered treason. Now he's branded as enemy number one. But he goes out in the blaze of glory. He's not gonna go down silent into that night. As they finally catch up to him, they tell him to lay down his weapons, but they forget he's the biggest weapon of them all. He blasts out of the ship unscathed. The Baroness wants him back or blown out of the stars, either or. He's thinking more of the race to live on instead of the empire as he goes to war with his own people. But all of a sudden, his ship lands right in front of him, blocking all the gunships. And in a surprise, it opens his doors and lets him in as they take off. But he's curious to see who's his savior. The chair turns and it turns out to be a kid. He's angry and disgusted that he was just saved by a kid. But the kid tells him, you're my idol my father fought with you and died by your side in battle. Super Scroll is in denial and takes out his anger on the kid. He thinks that he's just a spy for the Baroness, but he is more impressed by the kid's intellect for an early age. And the Baroness puts out the word on Super Scroll. The price is three million. Super Scroll's anger directs to someone else now and he drops the kid. He tells the kid, all right, we need to start planning for this invasion. We need to recruit some people. I won't let anything happen to my child. Now that they're worth three million, they must get to the negative zone, but they're gonna need help. They can't do it as fugitives. So he goes and visits an old friend, Reed Richards, as he still has access to the negative zone. He doesn't like them, but he trusts that he will keep his word as he still has respect for his enemy, as he is their only way inside the negative zone to find out what happened.